Good afternoon. Am I audible? Am I audible? Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am, you are audible. Okay, 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 okay. Let me just share the screen. Please check it is properly visible or not. Is my PPT visible? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Madam, just inform me when I will start. Accordingly, I'll proceed. Should I feel more are joining now? Should I wait for two, three minutes? Yes, ma'am, we can wait for it for see one of us. Because few are still joining. So should I wait, madam? Two, three minutes? It's already four. I can't, I think we should. Yeah. Yes. Let me start then. Good evening, all members of Patliputra Sahodaya and all esteemed teachers present here. Uh, it's my first webinar in this 2023. So we should all have a happy and prosperous year ahead. Well, today's topic is teaching mathematics in primary classes. One of the most important part in our academic calendar, academic years, primary. Uh, maybe many of the cases we think that we can, a uh, primary, it's easy. So, but it's very crucial part because the interest of, it's like a white paper. Whatever scratch you will give, that will have a permanent marking there. That's why this portion is to be nurtured properly, carefully. If first impression 
is a final impression. If we can raise our interest in this, in mathematics, in the primary classes, that will give a long run return. I think you'll agree with me that in primary classes, if we can inculcate the interest in the subject, then in future, in long run, it will give us a good return. Yes or not? I think you'll agree with me. Am I correct? Is my thinking correct? That in the junior class, in the primary section, if we give proper tips, proper ways, if we teach. So the mathematics is a science of pattern. As a science of abstract objects, mathematics relies on logic. Mathematics today is a diverse discipline, much more than just arithmetic and geometry. It is not only arithmetic and geometry, it's much more than that. It enables one to read critically, to identify the fallacies, to detect the bias, to assess risk, and to suggest alternatives. Mathematics empowers us to understand better the information led in world in which we live. So mathematics teaches us to read critically, find out the fallacies, detect the biasness. So it's a knowledge, but it's cumulative knowledge. So without doing addition, you cannot go to multiplication. No, it's a cumulative knowledge. You have to gain understanding in one area before you can effectively go to the build up on another area. There is no concept of jumping. Mathematics always goes for step by step upgradation. And our first mathematical building blocks are established in primary school. We learn four mathematical operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division, yes? That these are the four primary blocks that first addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Without addition, we cannot go to multiplication or division. So one by one, we have to go in the primary classes. The mathematics can be done in many ways. It can be made interesting in many ways. One technique is visualization technique. Say, let us take this question. R into B is 72, B into G is 36, R into G is 32, G is equal to what? How much is answer? What is answer, dear friends? What is the answer? R into B is 72, B into G is 36, R into G is 32. What is the value of G? Anyone please reply? I'm waiting for your answer. I've got one answer, two answers, three, a few answers I got eight, few answers I'm getting four. R into B is 72, B into G is 36, R into G is 32. What is the value of G? Yes, G is 4. Now, dear friends, it is a question of algebra. It's a question of factorization. It's a question of equation solve. Algebra starts in CBSC from class 6. So it is never a question of primary level. Am I correct? It is never a question of primary level. So we, why are you discussing this in this session? When it's a question of middle school? Check once, is it the same question, dear friends? Is it the same question? Can we give this second one in the, to the students who are studying in primary classes? They are very much acquainted with this type of pictures as these pictures come to them in WhatsApp or through friends. After that, we can write, or ask them, write the first letter of the colors. They will write R into B is 72. Blue, B, B into green, B into G is 36. R into G is 32. Can we do this? 
can we help our students to create equations even in the primary level can we make them future ready for the middle school possible that means definitely we can go for this visualization technique where the subject will be joyful to them at the same time we can make them future ready for the equations without making them feel yes you are doing something about class six or seven it's possible we can give this type of questions to the students that ordering to 20 is basically they will have to rate you can give these numbers you can ask them pick up the numbers and put in their position so basically you are teaching them counting from 1 to 20 which is there in the learning outcome of class 1 now in class 2 i think we all teach successor predecessor the number which is coming after two places of 45 the number which is coming up before one place of 66 yes it is there in class 2 dear friends successor predecessor which number is coming after two places of 45 which number is coming before one place of 66 it is there but think from a child's point of view that predecessor successor how big big words why will they like it they will not can we give this type of worksheets to them where we can say them that our aim is recognition of the number our aim is predecessor successor we can ask them that color these numbers by blue these numbers by yellow and these numbers by pink see when they will color it how beautiful picture is being created don't you think your students will be happy and your learning objective will also be fulfilled here you can ask along with this that write two lines about the figure what you get that means the students were good in vernacular the students were good in art all of them can be touched yes or not we can can do this yes so through this activity in the primary classes recognition of the numbers without any mathematical instruction only by colors we can touch them we can involve them so this one actually we want to know which number is coming between three and five a big question rather you can ask what is the price of bunch of grapes how much money more you need to buy one apple if your mother has given five rupees can you give these questions that eight rupees you have if you want to buy a strawberry how much money will get back so this is basically fill in the blanks but put this way so that the numbers will not come first picture will come to them first and they will feel happy to find out the price of the apple to find out the cost of the mango another one they are very much acquainted with different icons through the shows in television you can ask them what is the age of this red monster what is the age of this yellow monster don't you think they will feel happy because they are they are very favorite and known figures and icons yes or not that they, they are very very much they are fond of they are rather fond of this monsters we can ask these questions that what is the age of this yellow monster what is the name of this green monster and what is the age so don't you think through this worksheets we can reach students faster and we can involve them just i need your opinion remaining in the primary classes can we bring the varieties through this my the, my next question is this is purple this is orange what is the length of the streak which is equal to the length of purple plus orange purple stick plus orange stick is equal to length of which stick purple stick plus orange stick is equal to length of which stick 
Which one? Yes, red. Black minus blue. This is black. Blue. Black minus blue is which one? Green. Dear friends, can't we teach addition subtraction like this? Is it mandatory? For teaching addition subtraction will also will always go 5 plus 3 is equal to what? 10 minus 2 is equal to what? Is it mandatory? That for addition subtraction we'll have to do like this. Here is no number. Why do we math teachers always synonymize mathematics by number? Why do you always say that addition means 3 plus 2 is equal to what or 10 minus 3 is equal to what? Just tell me, can we teach addition subtraction like this? Concept is larger than number. Can we emphasize on concept like this? Take another one. Which statement is not correct from this figure? First, second, third, fourth. Which statement is not correct? Which statement is not correct? Please reply me. Which statement first, second, third, fourth? Which statement is not correct? Yes. Shidul Hashan sir, Shidul Hashan sir, Pail Nag madam, many more. Three, third one. Can we give this question for assessing the knowledge of addition subtraction? See, there is no number. Can we give? Will it be helpful for us as well as enjoyable for the students? For assessing the knowledge of addition subtraction after that we can put the numbers and we can say the justify your answer. Possible? Moreover, blue is equal to red plus green plus yellow. Blue minus red is equal to green plus yellow. The teachers who are teaching here class 6, 7, please tell me, is it not the concept of transposition? What is used at the time of linear equation? Blue minus red is equal to green plus yellow. Yes, so it's, a, it's an actually a question of class two. A class two teacher does not know that he or she is teaching the students linear equation in disguise. Now for teaching one thing, we can go for different strategies. Say for addition, standardized way you have taught the addition. After that, you can see the children that break 45 in terms of the place values. Break 23 in terms of the place values because you are brushing up the concept of place value. When you are teaching addition, maybe they have forgotten the place value. Now ask them that add up the numbers in the place value of tens, add up the numbers in the place value of units, add both of them. That is finally the addition result is coming or like this keep the first one as usual the end break 26 with respect to the place value add up the tens digits along with that add up the units digits. check what is the result you will get the result break 37 and 46 different different ways same addition different strategies see the third one 30 plus 47 plus 6. Which property is actually being taught? 37 plus 46. 37 is broken in 30 plus 7. 46, 40 plus 6. Then 30 and 40 brought together. 7 and 6 brought together. Two results are being added and we're getting again 83. Actually, which property is being taught? Which property? Yes, few more. 30 grouping, another name of grouping is what? Is it not associative property? Is it not associative property? Yes. See, in class two, you can teach addition in so many ways. There you utter the word associative property so that in class six, it will be easier for the teacher to make a line. The gradient learning is possible. Otherwise, the learning becomes jumping one. For multiplication, there is a conceptual error. What is 2 into 3 and what is 3 into 2? So make this one like this. 
that this is 5 into 2 and when it has lied down then it has been 2 into 5. So 2 into 5 and 5 into 2 result is same the meaning is not same. The meaning is not same. Many of the cases I have seen that uh, many teachers say these are equal. No, they are not equal. If they are equal, then commutative property would not exist. So please give these examples like this. One is standing six rows and three columns, six into three, by three rows and six columns, three into six. The result is same. In counting, number of marbles are same. The arrangement is not same. That means the multiplicand and multiplier, they are not same. Please make it clear to the students of class two or class three. Similarly, division 20 by four in one case is being divided by the number of columns. We'll get back number of rows and where you are dividing by number of rows, you will get back number of columns. Now, see another one. Hope you have seen still now I have not emphasized our number. Remember number is a tool. Our thinking is our asset, is our weapon, is our specialty. Now, say this one. Can you ask the students that draw the next picture? No mathematical instruction. Draw the next picture. I think children are, uh, children feel more happy in drawing rather than doing the sums. So if they draw, that these are the correct pictures. If they are drawing properly and correctly, is it not sufficient for us to know that, yes, they are confident enough about pattern? They are confident enough about counting numbers, about skip counting? Yes, there lies mathematics. Now, look at the second line. If the children are drawing the proper figure, that means they are confident enough about pattern, that is mathematics about counting numbers, that is mathematics, about skip counting, that is mathematics. Now look at the second line, okay? My pink boxes are there, please reply me. Can we ask these questions? How many pink squares are there in the beginning? Please reply me. How many pink squares are there in the beginning? Yes, Ocean sir. Anjana, madam, many more. Two, how many are there in the second figure? Four. What is the difference between first and second figure? Two. How many boxes are there in the third figure? Six. Yes. What is the difference between second and third figure? Two. What is the difference between third and final figure? Again, two. Is the difference common or different? Common. Please tell me the concept of which class, which chapter? Is the concept of which class of which chapter? Yes, I got the answer. Arithmetic progression of class 10. So this is a worksheet of class 2. Class 2 teacher can ask these questions, but class 2 teacher does not know that she is actually asking the questions for class 10. My request is class 2 teacher, please ask the last question. Let the students utter the word common difference and share this page with class 10 teacher so that when the class 10 teacher will teach, she or he will show this picture, which will give an effect in the children that yes, someday, summer I have done it. It will be easier for the teacher of class 10 to teach and for the students also it will not appear like an absolute new chapter. That is a success. There lies the success of the primary department if the th things what you are being taught that is being used in the senior classes through a gradient learning. In class 1, can you give this 10 by 10 sheet to the students and ask them that draw paint as many boxes as you wish by your favorite color in class one is it there in class one paint few boxes by your favorite color in class one we can give this their orientation color recognition 
drawing within the box these things are being assessed and taught in class one teachers were teaching in class one can we give it maybe in classwork maybe in homework possible now handovers you will get if you have got 40 students in your class you will get 40 worksheets like this now hand over these pages to class two teacher can class two teacher ask from this count the number of colored boxes and write them in expanded form dear friends can class two teacher teach from there hand over those pages to class three teacher can class three teacher teach what fraction is green with respect to the total possible hand over those pages to class four teacher can class four teacher teach what percentage is orange hand over those pages to class five teacher can class five teacher teach what color the convert this blue colored area in terms of decimal hand over those pages to class six or seven teacher can they teach what is the perimeter of the purple colored region Class eight teacher, what is the area of the red colored portion? Hand over those pages to class nine teacher. Can he or she teach what is the probability of a box to be blue in the fifth grid? See, neither you will have to create the questions, nor you will have to go for plenty of books. You have got every year, you are having 40 ready-made worksheets which you can use for teaching and these are created by the students themselves in class one so that there will be a vertical integration starting from one to nine there will be a vertical integration and it will be giving it will be giving them a feeling of ownership of concept building that this is my creation from where i am doing something can you can you do it? You can give this type of worksheets for assessing the knowledge of division. So these are the answers for the first one. For the second one, these are the answers. Small boxes for assessing the knowledge of one digit division. We must remember that we have got multiple intelligence now few students can understand if you speak to them in stories and languages they have got verbal intelligence few have got oral intelligence who wants to talk interpersonal intelligence who has got a leadership quality few have got logical intelligence who can understand mathematics faster if you have got physically kinesthetic intelligence ki you apne class mein gaya bol diya ki ho maine mere register lana bhul gaya ek bachcha khade ho ke bolte na i'll go to your staff room and bring it he has got a physically kinesthetic intelligence so if he needs activities to be done interpersonal intelligence where the student can do it alone so these are varieties of when you're teaching we are making a lesson plan we must remember we have got all variety of students so our lesson plan should be such that it will interact it will touch all the variety of students so this one again the monsters can you ask the students smiley is the youngest among the monsters what is the age of smiley smiley is the youngest among the monsters what is the age of smiley five champ has been alive for an odd number of years what is the age of champ champ has been alive for yes nine buzz has been alive for the same number of years as he has eyes buzz is alive for the same number of years as he has eyes six rough is four years older than buzz how much four years older than yes 10. dear friends can you ask this question by showing these pictures 
here we are actually teaching or assessing them the smaller number greater number odd number even number and addition can we do it don't you think by this we can go closer to them and the knowledge will be more durable and enjoyable as well when you are teaching them polygons ni polygons sab chhod dijiye ni there is a problem with the students in the junior school regarding fractions which one is bigger half one fourth one eighth i think you will agree with me many students have got a confusion that if eight is bigger than four so they consider one by eight will be bigger than one by four why not very difficult to make them understand am i correct so we can try with this see we have taken six rectangles of equal shape so all are equal to 1 now the first one second one 1 by 2 first one is 1 the black one has been divided into two parts 1 by 2 next one four equal parts you can ask the students don't put the answer put the correct question one red, red rectangle is divided into four parts so 1 by what four now this one the one rectangle is divided in how many parts you will answer six so each is one by six second one by eight last one one by 16 now ask the students that yellow blue and green place one yellow part on the blue check which one is bigger they themselves will check yes blue is bigger put that blue on green which one is bigger they will say yes green is bigger so green is bigger than blue blue part is bigger than yellow that means which one is bigger they will say yes 1 by 6 is bigger than 1 by 8 is bigger than 1 by 16 don't you think by this if you ask them then they will touch and feel the problem physically kinesthetic learners will be benefited through it at the same time visual learners will also be benefited similarly here this is half now here same rectangle being divided into four parts let us take out the two parts so it is 2 out of 4 here let me take out three parts 3 out of 6 ask the children are these three parts measure length and breadth equal they will say yes it is equal this was 1 by 2 this is 2 by 4 this 3, 3 by 6 are these three equal they will say yes it they are equal this is actually equivalent fractions let them construct the knowledge constructivism see another question what is the value of x if they are positive integers x y and z what are the values of x y and z please reply me what are the values of x y and z yes x is 4 y is 5 i got the answer next x is 4 y is 5 and next 6 4 5 6 see again a question of algebra higher algebra quadratic equation square root linear equation of two variables these are not at all easy but check is it the same question is it the same question so can we give this question to the students through which the students will be able to solve the equations without knowing equation so emphasize on this visualization emphasize on kinesthetic learning so that only by read and write we can teach only one category of students not all so another problem is there is problem sum to solve a what problem students need to understand its context and develop a strategy to solve it 
There are many ways to help students build the skills and understand how to use them in specific situations. So help them, say them to read it loudly. Math talks, they can work in pairs. They can work in pairs so that they can exchange the ideas. And if they have given in a solution, please explain the solution with logic. Let us take a question, a problem sum. Salav has 10 biscuits. Will you help him to decorate the biscuits for the party? 10 biscuits. Ask students to bring 10 biscuits. Then say them, put icing on every second biscuit. Please tell me in the chat box on which biscuits, which number biscuits icing will be put. 10 biscuits. Put icing on every second biscuit. So, which one of biscuit ka upar icing aega? Which, which numbered? Yes, kid and madam. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. You are teaching what? You are teaching your students what? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10? What numbers? Yes, even numbers. Multiples of 2. But don't utter the word multiple of two. But when they listen to the LCM, HCF, multiples, it becomes very, it creates an aversion. Now, ask them, put a cherry on every third biscuit. Put a cherry on every third biscuit. So, which biscuit will come up? 3, 6, 9. 3, 6, 9. Multiple of 3. Put a chocolate button on every fourth biscuit. Where will it come? Four and eight. How many biscuits have no decoration? Let me share the answer. So icing in every second biscuit, cherry on third biscuit. What is which biscuit has got cherry and icing both? Six one. LCM of two and three. Which biscuits do not have any decoration except one? If I go fifth and seventh, prime numbers. Can we teach like this without uttering the actual word? Just asking them to bring 10 biscuits, putting the icing, putting the chocolates, putting the cherry or some other thing through which we can teach them the multiples and LCM. The subject will be easier. So this one. Please do this question. Half of a spirit in a bottle evaporates in every 12 minutes. If there is 480 ml of spirit in a bottle to start with, how much spirit will be left after one year, one hour? Half of the spirit in a bottle evaporates in 12 minutes. Every 12 minutes, mein half bottle khali ho jata hai. Ek bottle mein 480 ml of spirit hai. To one hour ke baad kitna spirit bacha raha udhar. It's a problem sum. Not very easy. If you think for class 11 point of view, it is basically a geometric progression. R is equal to 12. By 12 minutes, Half spirit, R is equal to half. It's geometric progression. But see, by visualization technique, we can do 480, 240, 120, 60, 30, 15. Can you do like this? Students can visualize this. Student can touch and fill the problem. So this one, total value is 117. Find the value of these icons. First say me one thing. This heart into flower husk is equal to how much? 100 by 2? 
Heart into flower husk is equal to how much? 50. Yes, 50. The first question. Heart multiply by vas. Now, heart into flower vas minus 1 is 40. So what may be the value? 50. Kaise kaise 50 ban sakte ask the students. 5 into 10. 25 into 2. 50 into 1. Let them try. That if the flower husk is 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. Can 9 divide 40? No. So 10 possible nahi hai. If the flower husk is 5. 5 minus 1 is 4. Can 4 divide 40? Yes. Then the flower vase can be 4. If the flower vase is 4, 5, then 5 minus 1 is 4. 4 is dividing 40. 40 by 4 is 10. That means the heart will be 10. Now ask the student, ye 50, ye 40. Heart agya 10. Can 10 divide 50 and 40 both? Children will answer yes. That means it is a divisor. It is a divisor. Now when? Is there any other number which can divide and divide 50 and 40 which is greater than 10? The children will find and say no. So is it the highest number which is commonly divide 50 and 40? They will answer a yes. That's why it is HCF. Can't we proceed HCF like this? Because otherwise the sub words HCF, LCM really becomes a difficult word for them. They don't enjoy it. You can go by this type of flashcards for teaching them place values. Say one student will have 42. The child will stand up and say, I have 42. Who has got two tens and three ones? The child will not say the complete one. Then somebody has got 23, that child will stand up and say, yes, I have 23. That means the child is answering that two tens and three ones is actually 23. So if you say, Ki, explain this or expand this, that becomes conventional. Involve the full class like this type of flashcards. I think students will be involved and enjoy it. And at the same time, your learning outcome will also be fulfilled. Yes, learning outcome can be done that 42, the students will be saying 42. Similarly here for teaching them the clock timing, give the flashcards, somebody will, everybody will have a picture. The first, uh, this child will say, this child, I have got this one, who has got 630? Jisko 630 mila, wo khada ho ke dikhai ki 630. It's not that you will have to teach KA, this is 630, no. They will put the question and somebody from them will give the answer. For counting numbers, you can do this. Ask the students, how many children brought apple? Which was the most popular fruit? Which fruit did only one child bring? How many bananas were brought? How many children brought oranges? How many fruits were brought in all together? So no number written. No number written. They will count. They will give the answer. Again, I'm saying number is not everything of mathematics. It's a tool. Dear friends, please check. What will the answer? The secret number is inside the rectangle. Okay? The secret number is inside the rectangle. Observe it very carefully. And the secret number is inside the circle. And the secret number is not inside the triangle. What is the secret number? Please reply. Yes, I got one answer. Kumar sir has given. Answer is 8. Can we give this question in primary level? Can we give this question in primary level? Yes. See, this is actually a question of class 11 intersection of sets and complementary set. Yes or not? That the secret number is inside the rectangle and
stand inside this circle. That means a point of intersection between rectangle and triangle and not inside the triangle. It's basically a set theory. Again, I'm saying primary teachers do not know what responsibility they are shouldering. Most of the cases we teach the students what is it. We don't teach them what is not, which is very important. We teach them what is it, but we don't teach them what is not. Please give this type of questions to in enhance the logic of negation so that the complete logical sense will be enhanced. Say, can we give these questions? It is not 9 minus 3, it is not 0 plus 5, it is not 10 minus 3. Who am I? Who am I? Please reply, who am I? Yes. Let us go for two digit number. It is not 7 plus 7, it is not 18 minus 3, it is not 7 plus 9. Who am I? It is not 7 plus 7, it is not 18 minus 3, it is not 7 plus 9. Who am I? Yes, I am 13. It is not 18 plus 20, it is not more than. It is not 18 plus 20. Let me cut it. It is not more than 48 plus 10. It is not more than 58. Let me cut. It is not less than 99 minus 80. That means it is not less than 18. Cut it. It is not 88 minus 40. It is not 48. Cut. It is not 68 minus 50. It is not 18. Who am I? 28. Through this, we are assessing the knowledge of addition, subtraction, greater than, smaller than, logic of negation. Dear friends, can we give it? Can we implement this type of worksheets with the students for their involvement? At the same time, logic of negation can be enhanced. And we can assess so many things once one worksheet. Say so another problematic area is digit. Take, let us take this question. I am a change the narrative. We always say them now find, evaluate, proof, check. Students are sick and tired with these words. Change it. I am a two digit number. I am divisible by 11. The number before me is a prime number. Who am I? The number before me is a prime number. First ask the students which numbers between 9 to 100 I can be. Multiples of 11. What are the numbers before? Each one, 11 ka pahle kya hai, 22 ka pahle kya hai, 33 ka pahle kya hai, 44 ka pahle kya hai, like this. Now, which are not struck it off. What is, yes, it is 44. Good. It is 44, not 22. I'm getting many answers, 22 or 33. Before 22 is 21, which is not a prime number. You can give this type of questions, change the narrative, and at the same time, three things are being assessed. Multiples of 11, prime number, and two-digit number. So this one. 10 kg or 10 rupees divided into two fruits equally. What is the price of each fruit? Five. Yes, very good. Five. That means it is actually an equation x plus y is equal to 10, x is equal to y. Is it not? This is a question of class 1 or 2? 1, 2, 3, any class you can give? Visual question? What is actually this one? Yes or not? That x plus y is equal to 10, x is equal to y, linear equation of two variable of class 10. That you don't know. You are actually teaching the something of class 10. Again, I'm saying primary is so crucial. The problem is there that senior school teachers do not percolate that what is actually the takeaway from primary. Now this, forget about the previous one, no relation with this. 40 is the total price. One orange and one bundle of cherry is equal to half of 40. Or two apples and two cherries, half of 40. 
can you find out the value of each fruit possible orange plus cherry is equal to 20 two apples plus two cherries is equal to 20 is it possible for you to find out can you find out the value of each fruit separately how how can you please give me the answer no relation with the previous one pehle wala ka sath kuch relation nahi hai orange plus cherry is equal to 20 two apples plus two cherries is equal to 20 find out the value of orange apple and cherry individually five each one se kaise hoga sir ye hai five our group of cherries is five 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 ten ho gaya See, it cannot be found out because three variables and two equations. Anna? Three variables and two equations we cannot find out. Give this to the students. Let them find out. Give this concept to the junior class. After that, say them that the cherry is equal to three rupees. Now, can you find out? Then the children will find that is cherry three. Then the orange will be 17, 3 plus 3 is 6, 7 plus 7 14. So this is actually a higher concept of equation. But definitely we can give it in the junior class. This is our perception. How can we? So remember, don't tell the correct thing, ask the correct question. See another one. Let me go for some projects. Generally, there are two types of projects individual project and group project. But Kilpatrick has said there are four types of projects creative project, problematic project, artistic project, and drill project. When you are doing the project, you must be careful about all these steps in any class. Creating the situation, proposing and choosing the project, planning the project, if execution of the project, evaluation of the project, recording the project. Main importance to be given for planning and choosing the project. Planning time should be more than execution time. So you can give this type of curves to them. Different numbers given. Ask the students that which one will be matched with what. Say a two-digit number. From two-digit number, they will give some strikes and will add them. 20, 18, 10. Again, a multiple of five. Even number. So, they, if they know the characteristics of even number, recognition of the number, they will take out the numbers and put it in those boxes. Your work will be done. Always remember that activity or assessment does not always need pen paper. It needs your innovation. For tables, ye bahut problem hai bachche loka na. Maximum students cannot remember tables. That's why they can't complete the question paper on time. They make plenty of mistakes and score poor marks. Kis ka problem aata hai? Teachers thik se nahi padai. So what you can do, as I'm sharing, this type of worksheets you can make. This is four ka hai. 4, 5, 6, 7, 1 to 20. Teachers talk about it. Every teacher can create two worksheets. Make plenty of photocopies. In every substitution, every month, once or twice in the substitution period, hand over those pages to the teachers. Teachers will carry this in the class. And teachers will say, create the correct path. See, the students will make it. So if you make this one a habit, in your school, every month, once or twice, the substitution teacher will go, will distribute the pages in the class. Three to Every student will get almost three pages, starting from class 1 to class 10. Then even in the absence of mathematics teacher, whole school will grow with the skill of mathematics, skill of tables. Na? Possible? We can do it. Just once in a lifetime, we can create this worksheet and we can use years after years. You can divide your class into 12 groups. Give the name of the first group, January. 
second group february third group march like this 40 students if you have got every group will be having three classes three students give the homework no password don't no time waster that create the month of calendar of january by using square root cube root and fraction maybe you're teaching middle school in february bad mass rule march percentage and fraction that means every student will create 10 correct questions kyunki 30 days hai ek group mein teen bachcha hai to har student 10 correct question create karega let them make this calendar my request is use this calendar in in your school starting from 1 to 10 maybe the teacher who is teaching english when the teacher will come to the class look at the calendar and say 2nd of january is it 2nd of january why you have written 3 and 8 because usko to pata nahi hai na cube root of 8 is 2 then the students who have made it first time they will get the opportunity to teach the teacher how cube root of 8 is 2 and if the teacher is doing it if the student is doing it properly that means it is they are absolutely ready with the concept of cube roots this is for the primary class don't you think by this the proper revisionary work will be done full school will be a mass laboratory now i think i'm left with five more minutes and let me skip this you have got this type of papers for creating parallel lines vertically opposite angles now just for making one fourth just say the child that shade the one fourth of the triangles across a point they will do it how beautiful project you can say that what is the area of the red colored portion what is the fraction of striped one with respect to the total So in the junior class, I think every school, there's a craft teacher. Communicate to the craft teacher. Say the craft teacher that please make this type of paper cutting. Aapko nahi karna hai. Horizontal integration. Now when the craft teacher has made it, ask the students that arrange them. See how beautifully arranged. Now what is your duty? Only to say the child, teach the child, it is a big circle, it is a rectangle, it is a square, it's a triangle. Recognition of the figure. Create When you have doing something from their own creation, definitely the knowledge will be much more durable and stable. When you are teaching them fractions, you can do like this. It is one. This is half. This is one fourth. 1 8, 1 16. Only this much is in your curriculum, you teach this. It's a alava kuch mat karai. Homework you give them, no mathematics homework. Colored these portions by your favorite color. See how beautifully they are colored. When the child will color at home, the child will touch and feel. Hare, ye 1 fourth yaha pe itna bada tha. Usme itna kese chota ho gaya 1 8 me. 1 16 me aur chota ho gaya. The child will automatically understand that yes, 1 16th is smaller than 1 8th, smaller than 1 4th. It's not that you will have to teach. Next homework you give, cut these pieces and arrange them, create an animal of your choice. See how beautifully created. Here you can ask the child, what is the value of the tail? What is the value of the body? What is the value of the head? Arrange the values in the descending order, fractions. So do it from their creation so that it will give an ownership of concept building. Tangrams, I think you all do. Ask the students, plenty of things they have made. Here you can give them the different measurements and ask them to find out the perimeter and areas through which their creation. Again, I'm saying if something is being done from their own creation, it will be much more helpful for them. Last question I'm giving you. Split up 10 in different combinations of 2, 3 and 4. Ek do jabab dijiye to. 
ओनली टू का भी इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं ओनली टू थ्री का और थ्री फोर का टू फोर का करके कैसे आप टेन बना सकते बाय एडिशन एडिशन यूज करके ओनली बाय यूजिंग टू रिपीटेशन इज अलाउड और टू थ्री और थ्री फोर और टू फोर और टू थ्री फोर लेकर कैसे आप टेन बना सकते एक दो जवाब दीजिए प्लीज यस आई गॉट द आंसर यस दीक्षा कुमारी यस और फ्यू आंसर्स प्लीज यस 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 वेरी गुड वेरी गुड सी आई हैव टेकन सम आंसर्स टू एडिट फॉर फाइव टाइम्स टू फोर टू टू थ्री थ्री टू 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 फोर फोर इज ए क्वेश्चन फॉर मैथमेटिक्स मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर देयर हु हैज गॉट म्यूजिकल इंटेलिजेंस दे आर द बैक पेंचर्स इन आवर क्लास दिस क्वेश्चन इज फॉर देम Along with this, you attach a question. Appro write the appropriate tal or bol of tabla. The students are good in music, but not in mathematics. The first case they can write, dha gette te, dha gette te, dha dha. For the second one, dha dha te te kat te gadi gheni dha dha. For the third one, kat te te kat te 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 kat te te kat te 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 three three two two. For the fourth one, two, four, four, da, din, da, din, din, da, da, din, din, da, da, din. Who told mathematics is not everyone's subject? We should be the mathematics teachers for all, not only for the students who love mathematics. We will try to reach the subject, to reach our subject to them who has got musical intelligence, who has got physically kinesthetic intelligence. See, there is mathematics. Upper part of the body. When the dance teacher will teach, the dance teacher can say that yes, both the hands will remain in a straight line. Upper part of the body and lower part of the body should remain at obtuse angle. All of you should remain in a parabolic way. So these words are to be uttered by the mass dance teacher. It's our duty to communicate with them so that the full mathematical ambience will be created. This is for gymnastics. In those who are interested in games. there we through this we can teach them what are the parallel lines which one is perpendicular which angles are coincident angles what are the vertically opposite angles so when the students were weak in mathematics but good in gymnastics when they will see that from my picture my photograph is being taught they will they will feel interested they will think mathematics is my subject so dear friends instead of searching intelligence in students if the teacher started teaching interest the classrooms would take no no time to turn into research laboratories and art studios thank you thank you for your active participation i think many of you have got many more ideas you can always share with me so that we can create a stronger mathematical society i have shared my mail id and phone number you can keep if you have got many more ideas you can stay connected you can share with me now if anybody has got any question you are welcome you can ask me So, is there any other question? Okay, thank you. Stay happy. Stay connected. I think I can leave the session. Thank you.